Good morning, everyone. My name is Senator Kate Lundy, and I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land that we're gathering on today, the Ngunnawal people. I'd like to pay my respects to their elders, past and present, and thank them for their ongoing contribution to our wonderful community here in the national capital. Welcome to all of you to Public Sphere Camp, the second Public Sphere event, and uh, Government 2.0 Policy and Practice is the official title. Um, for all of you who are here today, you will know that today is not going to be your average conference. We're running it differently. We're running it in such a way that it will be a rapid fire, lots of ideas thrown out there, teasers, and it's really up to you as participants to follow up. For those of you who aren't familiar with the public sphere concept, it is, well, it started off as a bit of an experiment between uh, my advisor, Pia Waugh, and myself talking about what we could do to enhance the interaction between citizens and government. Now, it so happens that that is the very topic of this particular public sphere, but the forum is designed to pull as many of your good ideas into the public environment as quickly as possible and then utilise an online environment, the blogosphere, the Twitterverse, and cyberspace to be able to turn those ideas into something that we can put forward to government through the appropriate channels. It's a different way of making sure that your thoughts and the wisdom of the crowd is put before the government of the day. I'd like to go through a bit of housekeeping and say a few words about the structure so you all know what to expect. But first of all, I'd like to acknowledge sponsors straight up. Today has been organised uh, by my office and a group of amazing volunteers that I'll, I'll mention later. Um, it wouldn't have happened without them, so it's not being put on today with the resources of the government. It's very much a volunteer sponsorship and staff effort. The sponsors, as you can see, are Agileware, BizCube, Cisco and Transact, with Transact being the main sponsor. It's important that you know that Transact are providing uh, the wireless service today, all the catering and the streaming service. The other sponsors are contributing to the recording and broadcasting of today's event because all of what we do today will be recorded and you'll have the opportunity to go back over that information and blog your comments and review the presentations. For those of you who've seen the presentation schedule, you see that we move through it very quickly. Uh, one of the, because we're allocating such time slots, if there's time at the end of a presentation, we'll be having questions. If not, we'll be moving on. The other thing I should tell you is I won't be going through the biography of every speaker. If you want to know about the speaker, you can look it up online. That way we can move through the program faster and you can absorb their comments uh, without the gaps in between. We do encourage everyone to tweet. It's, um, the hashtag is hash public sphere, one word. So if you're tweeting about this conference, please use that hashtag. And that will be going on the live wall. We've got a live wall set up today and we have a couple of people who are live blogging. They will moderate the blog for today, but you're able to access the blog as we go as well. Um, please. Remember that all input, uh, tweets, blogs and the content that we'll be streaming today will be recorded and form part of the core of the, um, the briefing that will emerge from today's event. A critical part of public sphere events is capturing all of that input. What happens then, and we did this with our first one on, on higher bandwidth networks, is we then we prepare a draft report on all the issues raised and put it on a public wiki and ask all of you as participants to then participate in preparing that final report that goes to the relevant ministers. I'd also um, like to, to mention that for those of you who are here today who hear something interesting, please follow up with the speaker. The whole idea is that it's a, a, sharing, of, a sharing of thoughts, of inspiration, so it really is up to you to follow up later. The speakers I know will be happy for that and you'll not only be able to contact them online, but we've inserted lots of short breaks through the day to allow you opportunities to network. Uh, finally, bathrooms, housekeeping. 
out the back door and just in the corridor behind us, but please don't go wandering around the building because your pass doesn't permit that, or you can go back into the public areas and further, I feel like an air hostess, um, down in the, the public area of the building. Please turn your mobile phone sound off. Um, if you're using them to tweet, that's fine. Just turn the sound down so it doesn't interrupt the speakers. I think I've covered off all of the things I needed to say. Um, other than I owe a great debt of gratitude to Pia War. She's my advisor. She's been instrumental in making sure that all of the, the people who've made this possible today have come together. And um, I, I thank her for that. I'd like to introduce Pia because she'll be organising the tech as we move through the speakers. And it's a, it's a sitting day. So when the red, red, when the red light flashes and the bells ring, I have to go and vote. There's also a thing called question time from two to three in the Senate. I'm going to have to excuse myself for that period to do my job. And one of the, um, I hope to be able to take my laptop down to the chamber so I can actually wa watch what's going on quietly. <laughs> Maybe don't tell my boss. Um, so look, with all of that, I am going to introduce the first speaker because we're moving to a video. But first of all, I'd like to introduce Pia to you properly and um, thank her, please, for what she's done.